It's uh, Wednesday, November 8th, and I'm back in a tree here in Wisconsin. It's been a couple weeks or so, I would say, but I finished up a trip in Kentucky, and now I'm back, so. This is a great spot back here on the far back side of this public. Uh, on the other side of this dike here to my north is some private. To my west is a, some, some private, and uh, it's thick back here. There's some thick spots. So, I had a couple nice shooters back here last year. Um, I haven't really been running my cameras much, so I don't uh, know what's back here this year. But I do know this area continuously takes some nice deer out of here, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But beautiful afternoon. Got a little bit of a breeze going on. That's okay. Um, it'll die down here by by sunset so it's gonna get chilly tonight in the 30s so tomorrow morning's hunt should be really good too day sit here today and it's about 2 p.m. so I got about three hours left and here's a reality check for you um, I have not seen or even heard any deer yet so I really don't know um, if the super moon yesterday has these deer all super screwed up or or if this area back here just stinks this year I, I really don't know what it is um, over the last week you know I've had little spurts of action you know a couple of does here a buck small buck following a doe another small buck just cruising you know but uh, I don't know today it's really nothing but I'm trying to stay positive 
I know everything can change, you know, in a moment's notice. And, you know, within five minutes you could have your tag punched. So yeah, I am trying to stay positive and uh, keep my hopes up here. But uh, tomorrow morning will probably be the last sit. You gotta be kidding me. I better have gotten that on tape. Holy cow. Holy man. You gotta be kidding me. I just heard something coming from my north. I look. Here comes this really nice buck comes running up. I don't know, he was, on, he was on a mission. He comes cruising right up here. And uh, gets to be about 30 yards. And I, he gets through my one lane right there. So I had to get swing the camera over on our side of these trees. Get pulled back. And man, I bumped my tree arm with the bow and he's looking right at me. I let one sail. I just heard him crash over here, so I am so pumped. <laughs> my last morning sit before gun season. It's my second year back on this public piece, man, and it's just been tough. It's small bucks, you know, some does here and there, and some other hunters. It's just crazy. But uh, I gotta get my stuff together, man, and I'm gonna get down and start tracking this guy so stay tuned look at this guy here huh look at this big huge body Big Roman Knowles on him. He is an old bruiser. Definitely a mature deer. And is he ripe? Big body. Man, short tines, but that is funky. <laughs> Another public land buck here. That's two for the year. North Dakota and here in my home state of Wisconsin. Right there is a no hunting trespassing sign. That's private land right there on the other side of this this waterway here. <laughs> couldn't, have, couldn't have died in a better spot, hey. It's thick back here, but I think I'm just going to cord them right here. It's kind of nice and open. Whew. Unreal. It's awesome. I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs>